It's been painstaking for New Yorkers losing a loved one due to COVID-19, let alone the unexpected funeral expenses from paying for caskets to burials. But Senator Chuck Schumer and Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez say some relief is on the way. To help people who are victims of COVID and don't have the dollars on their own to pay for the funeral and burial of loved ones. Schumer announcing Monday out of FEMA's $2 billion in the National Disaster Funds, $260 million of that will go specifically to New Yorkers, especially those in the hardest hit neighborhoods, communities of color and low income, where families can't afford a proper funeral, including Corona Queens, the epicenter of the pandemic when it first hit. Many of these families, because of COVID, don't have money for a proper funeral and a proper burial. And that is just awful and inhumane. The money will be available by application only, and applicants must first have proof of relationship to the deceased, documentation of all funeral and burial cost, a death certificate showing COVID-19 was the cause, and the applicant must be next of kin to the deceased. All funds will also be retroactive from January 1st, 2020. Please make sure that you start to document um, and please make sure that you start to collect all documentation of the costs of burying a loved one. But the task of getting the funds out to undocumented New Yorkers who are eligible will be a tall order. Community leaders fear undocumented New Yorkers will not come forward. They are the ones that are in the shadows, are considered invisible, but need this very resource. And families can get reimbursed for funeral costs up to $7,000. Schumer says he wants to continue the program until the end of the pandemic. In the studio, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 